It may look like a basic concrete box, but this is a house with a design that is definitely out of the box, raising one simple question. Why concrete? Good question. And now students at Washington University are hoping the answer wins them top honors at the 2017 Solar Decathlon, sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy. This is definitely different from pretty much all the other Solar Decathlon houses, I would say. That's because the exterior walls, most of the interior walls, the roof and the floor are all made of concrete. As required by the rules, the house will be powered using only solar energy. This is the best learning experience I've ever had. That's it. The WashU team is made up of about 100 students studying architecture, engineering, computer science, construction management, and even public health. They began designing the Crete House, as they call it, two years ago. It can withstand any kind of disaster and has a lifespan that's much longer than any typical stick frame construction. Three, two, one. To see how well it would do in a tornado, Team WashU tested the strength of one of their precast concrete panels using a tornado cannon, which launches lumber through the air at about 200 miles per hour. The two by four went right through a brick wall, but when they fired the cannon at the concrete wall, it was the board that was destroyed. When it comes to durability, the Crete House is a heavyweight champ. It's heavy, it's over 200,000 pounds for sure. The walls of the Crete House are not as heavy as they look because each panel has a layer of insulation in the middle. And because they are clad using a new ultra high performance concrete called ductile, the walls are six times stronger than regular concrete and yet 30% lighter. Of course, lighter is not the same as light. So assembling the shell of the building on WashU's North Campus required a 55 ton crane and they will need to use it more than once. To participate in the solar decathlon, Team WashU has to be able to take the Crete House back apart and ship it to Denver, where the teams will have just 10 days to put everything back together. It's like buying a house designed by IKEA. Hopefully it'll be less complicated than putting it together because it's been designed in such a modular fashion that um, the wall panels can come apart, the ceiling panels are in five different sections, same with the floors and the gutters are all removable. I think it'll go a lot simpler because we've already done it once. The rehearsal has gone pretty well. Um, we've definitely had some hiccups here and there, and that's every construction site, construction job does, um, but we've learned from it. And it's not very often, it's almost never that you can learn from an experience on a construction site and then actually get to reuse it again doing the exact same project. So one of the periods is from 12 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Solar decathlon entries are judged on 10 criteria covering everything from sustainability to comfort. But there is a heavy emphasis on energy efficiency. And that's what Team WashU believes will make their Crete House a stone cold winner. Concrete is a great material because it has a high thermal mass. That basically means that it's going to be able to soak in heat and it holds it for longer than other, say, metals or wood or things like that. So it's going to hold that heat and then it actually releases the heat um, later at night. Instead of conventional heating and air conditioning, Crete House takes advantage of concrete's high thermal mass by using hot water lines in the floor to keep it warm and cold water lines in the ceiling to keep it cool. But they hope people will consider Crete House cool in more ways than one. I think it's up to us to sort of lead people to that uh, conclusion that it's feasible, that it can be comfortable. And as a design student, I appreciate sort of something that's different. Of total U.S. precast concrete in housing market is only 0.5 percent. Scandinavia is 70 percent of housing using concrete, and uh, uh, China is roughly uh, uh, 50 to 60 percent of concrete. That number of concrete homes in the U.S. will go up by at least one house when all this is done. After the competition in October, the Crete House will be used as a place for scientists to live at WashU's Tyson Research Center which means the team will have to take it apart, move it and rebuild it one more time. I feel very lucky that I'm in this position and I think whenever all the students that have designed it come back and see the place, they, they'll be really proud of what they've done and what, um, and what we've done to make it real.